Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Alert: The big one is about to blow. Yellowstone supervolcano eruption fears spike as geysers become more active. Some of Yellowstone's geysers have been more active lately, reigniting fears that the massive supervolcano will erupt. The sudden bursts of steaming hot water highlight the dramatic nature of Yellowstone while reminding us we are all at the caldera's mercy. While average people seemed concerned, geologists seemed excited and thrilled when Yellowstone's steamboat geyser began erupting again in 2018. It has been erupting as often as once a week since last March, according to National Geographic, and scientists continue to say the volatile activity is not a sign of an imminent eruption. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory reported that Steamboat has now set a record by erupting a whopping 32 times in 2018, a personal best for the geyser for a single calendar year. It's the world's tallest active geyser, and at the best of times, it can shoot hot water 300 feet into the air. However, it isn't just the Steamboat geyser that has been concerning people. Ear Spring Geyser, for example, has been almost since 1957 but it erupted spectacularly a few months back and sprayed human garbage from the 1930s all over the national park. But scientists insist this doesn't mean an eruption is pending. It's a good lesson in how geysers actually work, said Michael Poland, the scientist in charge at Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. As soon as you start to recognize a pattern, in a geyser's eruption, it changes. As, far as, geysers go, steamboat is sort of typical in terms of having these sporadic, unpredictable eruptions, Poland notes. But because it's this really tall geyser and it has this name recognition, it makes it that much more interesting. But again, it's not just steamboat geyser that has people concerned. But back in 2007 to 2008, giant, geyser, went bananas, Poland says. It erupted many, many more times than it had in the past year, and steamboat didn't do anything of the sort. Poland says that because there have been no underlying changes to the heat source which propels geysers, not have there been any geological changes, we should not be concerned about Yellowstone erupting in a cataclysmic event. But Poland is either wrong on one front, or he's being intentionally misleading. There has been a major geological change that could literally affect the entire globe, one which he conveniently left out for unknown reasons. But have no fear, anyone who is worried about an eruption has fears which are unfounded according to a report by National Geographic. The scientists and media outlets who wish to control public thought and opinion would like for anyone concerned to take off their tinfoil hat. Sometimes it feels like we are being conditioned and told what to care about and which things we should fear as opposed to allowing us the freedom to decide on our own. Is Yellowstone a threat? Maybe, maybe not. It's not our place to tell you what to think, we ask that you take your own thoughts into your hands and decide for yourself if Yellowstone is a viable threat. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.